What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to review Kapow, but not just volume 1 but also volume 2. So we are going to review both of these in one video. What more can you ask for? So yeah, Kapow is a game where you will be rolling some dice, attack your opponent and try to reduce them to zero health and whoever manages to do that first is the winner of the game. So as I said, uh, you will get some starting dice depending which character you choose and uh, you will also have a player board which both players will have that are the same that have some attack, defense, manipulator, dice stuff on it and all that but there's also like a character board where you will get like some abilities that are really just special only to you and uh, the game is pretty simple to teach it's such an easy teach it, it is beyond me how easy it is to teach this game to practically anybody and still the game has some meat on it. It's not just a random fest of rolling dice and see what happens. You can actually be very smart with your place. Um, what I'm trying to say is uh, like when you get, uh, when you start the game, you have like uh, six dice, five to six dice depending on the character. And uh, of course you want to get acquire more dice because you want to be more deadly, you want to activate those abilities that require the most dice, like uh, uh, that will give you the most attack or defense or that will give you, I don't know, all kinds of different things because they use four dice out of those six, you know. So you really want to like go for those, but first you need to acquire dice. And uh, usually on the first few turns, when the game starts, you will go for it. If you're able, if you roll the correct uh, faces on the dice, you will try and get some extra dice uh, for your game, for your pool to roll for the next few turns. But the thing is, if other player see that you are doing that, they can easily uh, play like the after combat abilities that will hurt you if you got some if you got some new faces if you got some because some of these dice are uh, you need to build them they don't have any faces on them so you need to beat, build faces on them so if you earn some of those or if you earn or some of these new trait dice they will definitely uh, make deal some damage to you that way so you can opt out maybe on the first few turns. You need to figure out what other player is trying to do and you need to anticipate their moves. Uh, it's, it's like playing Street Fighter the game. I actually got really like intensive vibes that I'm playing Street Fighter. Of course, all these characters are unique. They are made up in their own universe. These are not some IP characters or anything. At least I'm not aware that they are. And uh, Thinking what will your what will your opponent do on their next turn? Will they defend? Will they attack you? Will they go for more dice? And you need to decide because uh, some characters have abilities like if I get damage, you get damage. So I need to figure out should I activate that ability because I need to spend dice on it. But if I get some damage from you, I will return some of that damage back to you. It's just it has so much meat on it and it's st still such a simple and straightforward easy game. Uh, the first time you open up that player uh, sheet with all those abilities, activations and everything, you are kind of overwhelmed with icons. But as you look at it, like on a turn three, you already figure out that it's just progressively uh, better and better. It's the same ability, like one column is for attack. And as you go down that column, the attack gets more powerful, but requires more dice. So it's, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to understand what they are doing. And those abilities that you do after the combat and all that, they are uh, all the same. Uh, so it's just awesome, awesome game. So uh, I really enjoyed it. I, I must say, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I like Dice Throne a lot, but I think I would play this one even more than Dice Throne, uh, just because it's much easier to get to the table, it's much, it's much easier to explain what characters do and how they do it, and I don't know, overall, I really like it. I think I like it more than the, than the Dice Throne game. Uh, but uh, what are the differences between Volume 1 and Volume 2, you must be asking yourself. Well, there is no much except heroes. So. All the dice, all the player boards, everything is the same in both games as far as I know, but the heroes are different. And if you ask me which one to get, I would play both of them because all the heroes are such fun to play. All the heroes are unique in their own way. There are some vague similarities in a sense, like uh, as I mentioned before, you have a hero that if it gets damage, you get damage. But there's also a hero that... Uh, uh, they take damage, but then you also take damage. So, or they take defense, but you take defense. You know, uh, it's 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 
the heroes are really unique and and uh, the best thing is that this is a completely compatible so you can mix and match however you want these two games and they will work perfectly with each other and there's uh, I think eight characters right one two three four no six six character per box so 12 characters I can I don't want to say endless possibilities because there is definitive number but there is like a lots of possibilities what can you do with these and if you have two boxes you can play in a four player game i never played it four player game just to be clear i played it only as a two player game for me it's like 1v1 and i really look at it and from that aspect but yeah overall this is such an awesome such a great game that i definitely definitely recommend you to check this one out if you are like uh if you have 20 minutes or less and you want to battle each other out with some uh dice and uh like heroes fighting like in a street fight style check kapow it's a wonderful wonderful game great game so that is all i have to say about it thank you all for watching thank you for subscribing uh do join me next time when we are going to do something else i don't know what and uh until next time pozdrav uh, making uh, other player <laughs> wonderful, wonderful game. So, <sighs> but not just Kapow, not just Kapow, it is just Kapow, but volume one and two. What more can you expect? What more can you expect? Uh, one of the first few ter uh, first turns, one of the few first. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this game, <laughs> so as I said, each of the player will have their own di uh, dice of pool. <laughs> I wanted to say dice of pool. <laughs>